Hello everyone, thanks for watching the video. If all goes well, this will be the last time you see this back wall behind me. The styrofoam, the two by fours, I'm getting really tired of looking at it. And this video, we're gonna finish it up with some nice white ship lapping. It's gonna go horizontal. My wife and I have been working on this project and we're really excited to get this done and start to finish the interior and make it a little cozier. So I just wanted to explain a few things before we got going in the video. In the back wall here, what I'm gonna do is actually cover this with a very thin plywood. And the reason for that is this. First of all, there's some nuts that are exposed when I installed the solar panels on the back. So I have two options with that. I could just run some small thin uh, strips of wood and then put the ship lapping over top of that. But I decided to put thin layer of plywood and then I'm going to adhere the ship lapping to the plywood, probably using adhesive caulking. And the plan is that it will be one solid panel that if I needed to remove it, it would come off in one piece without destroying the ship lapping. Now, eventually there will be cabinets above here and probably a few other things. So if I ever needed to take it off, it would be a bit of work. But I do believe it would be less destructive if I did need to get there, if I had just had to take off an entire panel. So when you see me putting the plywood on here and then the ship lapping, that's the reason behind it. So just wanted to share the plans with you before we started and let's get at it. Looks crooked? I thought you I thought I said the standard and yours is crooked. So how am I gonna find out where I need to drill the holes in the plywood? So maybe there's a million ways to do this, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my T-square, line it up to where the row of the bolts are. I'm gonna mark off on the two by four here where that has to go. And then I'm going to mark off, so I need one at, I got a scrap piece of paper here. So I need one at 13 inches, one at 10, 27, 3 and then one at 40 and a half. Okay, so slide the By the plywood in place. Okay, need to leave a bit of a gap here. Okay. Put this right back, slide this to where I had the marker at. Okay, so in theory, in theory the bolt should be 13 inches right here. 27 and 3 eighths right here and 40 and a half right here. Okay, so remember it doesn't have to be pretty. All it's doing is giving you a smooth backing to put the ship lapping on and to raise the ship lapping above the bolts. So this is a small piece of ship lapping. I've just used it. And then, so the idea is that now it's going to go over the bolts and it'll be nice and smooth. So I made the holes big enough. So I had a little bit of room for error. So that was basically the purpose of that. And then I'm just going to, uh, to glue these to there. And in theory, this panel will come right off. I'll probably have to tack it. Um, obviously in some sections, for the most part it'll be a solid panel.
knife is doing, we're measuring for our first piece of ship lapping. The back wall is going to be free to come out, so that's why we're measuring with these pieces of ship lapping. I'll hold that flush for you. You don't want it, you don't want it perfectly tight though, right? So that's on there. the metal ring and the actual window itself. So you can see here, I can put my full fingers here and this is touching the wooden framing. So that is the problem I'm talking about with the windows. I hadn't expected that. So a couple of options that I'm debating on doing and, and quite frankly, um, if you're watching this video and you have any suggestions, I'd love to hear them. But um, at this point, I figure my options are really either take the metal ring off and router the profile of the metal ring into the wooden frame so that it'll recess back into the wood and touch the metal window because right now you can see a half inch of the wooden frame between here so this does not look good and this is not what I want. Okay so my wife and I are working on this window. This is going back a year. So it's one of those examples of when you do it, do it right the first time. But uh, I did a video on how this uh, was an unexpected uh, problem when I got the windows. I had three windows. One was wide enough so I could use uh, two by framing, but the smaller ones were thinner. So when I put the actual uh, trim on the inside, there was a gap that you could expose the framing. So what we're going to do is I just, we just did a test thing on, uh, we used the router and we just did a test run on this two by four. And we're gonna basically just router a channel along the edge of the two by fours here. And what we wanna do is we just wanna recess this lip into the two by four so that um, the lip actually touches the exterior window so there's no gap in there. That's the proper way it should be installed, right? Obviously I shouldn't have got these windows for this width of wall, but when you're building your own trailer, these things happen. So that's what we're gonna do. And then what we're gonna do is it's not so important of so much um, how far this goes into the 2x4 because what we're going to do is we're actually going to finish uh, the outside of this with uh, white ship lapping and some white trim. So really you ultimately won't see this black trim because uh, we're going to design our old trim to finish it off as you can see with the, the white ship lapping there. So um, ultimately you won't see it anyways but we don't want the biggest thing we're trying to accomplish is not to have a gap between this trim and the outside window. So that's what we're trying to do here. So we just did our test run with this 2x4. I think we're confident that it's going to work on uh, the window opening here. So we're going to get the router going and see how we do. So I'm getting to the point where I have the side marker lights that um, unfortunately I may need to access if they get broken or they stop working for any reason. I put a little bit of spray foam insulation here to, uh, but I can, if I ever need to get to that, it pulls out fairly easily. Um, but trying to keep things as insulated as well as possible. But to do uh, an access door, this is just a plastic one that I picked up at Lowe's. You can do it a couple of different ways. I could just install it uh, on top but if I did that this is probably the most secure way to do it but if I did that um, I have a feeling that down the road you know it's going to bother me if I'm leaning up against the wall uh, this is the bed area so you know I, I just have a feeling that's going to bother me so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to recess it I'm going to cut out a notch in the uh, the ship lap here and I'm going to actually kind of recess it and I'll be able to screw it into this 2x4 here and I'll cut out the ship lapping around it 
as long as I do it nice and crisp, it should be nice. That way there, it'll stick out just as much as the ship lapping. It'll be still a smooth wall. So I've cut a little drawings here on the width of the, the thing. I'm just going to take this piece off. This strip right here is going to be a full, complete, uh, long one. It'll be 78 inches, but uh, I'm going to use this piece of scrap to cut this notch out just to make sure I want it to be as close as I can. So I got it to be, I'm going to put some tape on here when I cut the good one, but uh, that looks pretty good. And now I'm going to just going to put this on the end of, I'm going to put this on the end of the full piece, trace this. Trace that notch out and cut it and it should fit in there nicely. <laughs> 